coming up on this week's show we have highlights of the Warriors' victory over Treviso as well as reaction from Peter Horn and Simone Favreau. And we look back to the best of the action in the Scottish Power Warriors Rugby Championship. We left Edinburgh this morning, uh, we got the uh, 7.30 flight out from Edinburgh to Venice and then travelled up today. It's, there's a good turnout, it's good. Uh, we met a lot of people in the, the bars in town and we all tra travelled out in the local bus, so it's been, it's been good. There's quite and a lot. And you're enjoying the Prosecco? The Prosecco is good. Let's go! Let's go! Pete, uh, a great win um, in, in Italy. What did you make of the game? Yeah, it was a tough game. We knew they were going to come out all, all uh, guns blazing. You know, that first half they put us under a lot of pressure and scored a, a great try. So uh, we were disappointed. You know, our breakdown wasn't great and it was something that we're really looking to build on over the next few weeks, especially, you know, Ulster disrupted us a fair bit. But to, uh, to show the character we did in the second half and come out and score some great tries, you know, it was a uh, testament to the boys. And uh, now nah, we're, we're still on a good roll. And just to your, your left here, we've got a number of Glasgow Warriors oh, supporters. What's your message to them? Yeah, it felt like a home game when we ran out. You know, they were they were brilliant. They were cheering us on the whole way. And especially at halftime, they didn't get frustrated with us when we weren't playing that well. They really got behind us in that second half. And uh, we just thanks very much. So it was great. Simone, a win at your um, at your former club, Treviso. Um, how did you find the game? It was a tough game in the first half. It was physical. We expect that. Then after, we got the confidence of the field and we scored many tries. We are happy in the end that we, our goal is to come here and take five points and we came back with five points, that's great for Glasgow. And you must have enjoyed being back here in Treviso seeing a few familiar faces. I will tell you tomorrow because uh, it's a rugby match, 15 against 15, same rules, so I don't mind something that make me happy just the things then right now I will go at home, I will cuddle my two dogs. And we're in Italy for the next week and you must be looking forward to that, to, to showing some of the of the Glasgow players around your home. 
Yes, of course, tomorrow they will go to Venice. Tonight I will drop them to eat some Italian stuff. I'm proud of my cultures and I'm happy because also I'm sure that the Scottish guys appreciate Italians, so that's good. And we're, we're climbing in the table now, we've got just a few games left. You must be looking forward to the sort of climax of the season. Yeah, we must be angry because we want to be the best. So and to be the best means wins all the matches. We have uh, other four test matches right now before the semi-final and we have to win and get more, more points as possible. The Warriors are spending a full week in Italy ahead of Friday's match against Zebri. Here is some footage of what they've been up to. I know the only thing is about Scotland, is so there's a good beer and good rugby team. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Last week, Sean's Academy defeated Lindsay Academy in the semi-final of the Scottish Power Warriors Rugby Championship, and Johnny Gray was there in attendance. Sorry, I ain't got no money, I'm not trying to be funny, but I left it all at home today. You can call me what you wanna, I ain't giving you a dollar, this time I ain't gonna run away. Thanks for watching this week's show. We'll be back next Wednesday when the team have returned from Italy and they'll look ahead to the game against Scarlets. <laughs>